welcome to Glittering Cave. This is... No, that's not what I meant to do. Uh, okay then, I was about to say, this is one of the best parts of the game, like I was saying earlier. I have fond memories of this place. I don't remember the way to go, but it's just so cool. Like, it really feels like a cave. It's dark, you know, you gotta watch your step. You know, there's... That's a fossil in the wall. You know? It's such a cool place. I don't remember where to go. I think I'm going the right way, though. I kind of remember this. But I remember if you go into the wrong part, you encounter a Pokemon. Which is really cool. It's kind of like you entered their dome. And that's a soul rock. I didn't know you could find that in here. Um... Eh, yeah, might as well fight it. We're one level from leveling up. This would- not one level from leveling up. Your levitate. Yes, that's- that's right. Psybeam. Just hit you up with a double kick. Oh, your rock's psychic. That's why. Didn't do much. Alright. Well then, there's only one take one way to take you down. That's to use take down. That did almost nothing. Oh my god. Oh my god, this thing is invincible. <laughs> Fiery Vortex is gonna do a decent we'll swap out after this turn. I don't even know what to do that. I guess quick attack since takedown's gonna give me recoil. This is a bad idea. <laughs> this is a really, really bad idea. Uh, no, it's kind of speed priority. I know what it's trying to do. It's trying to make me feel confident in myself that I would go for one more hit and try to kill it, and then it's gonna... Big Trainers can't switch out. Don't tell me this thing has Arena Trap. No, it has Levitate. I can't swap out because... The vortex, right, okay, well... Okay then. When it wears off. It wears off, right? I don't know. Does it wear off? Well, it's not gonna wear off, but you keep using it. Next turn. Us freed from fire spin. Well, there's no point in running at this stage. It's dead. Finally. Gosh, that was such a long battle just because that thing was too bulky and I didn't really have any moves to hurt it. Anyways, that's what happens if you go into the wrong end. I didn't do that on purpose. I or not even. This might be the right way. Okay, that's clearly not the right way. Um, sometimes they're in the paths. I forgot. Oh, this was the right way. And here we have our first encounter. What's this? I think you can imply something about the music you're hearing if you've never played this game before. Well, 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 what do we have here? A look. A lousy little trainer has come poking around. Listen up. You're the fashionable team. The fashionable team. Ah. We're the fashionable team whose very name makes people tremble in fear. Team Flair. I mean, Team Skull sounds a little bit more intimidating. Team Flair is kind of like... Okay. Team Flair's goal is to make it so we're the only ones who are happy. We don't care about one bit about what happens to other trainers or Pokemon. Get out of here, kid. Don't you know not to play with fire? I said no. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna... 
I would have made a horrible pun and swapped into Delphox or Breck Gregson and said, So you want to fight fire with fire then? Because if you guys don't get the joke, I'm just not even going to explain it. It's just too much. But yeah, not a really tough um, trainer. It's got more have fire types. And a Zubat. That's right. Uh, none of them always have exactly what you think they're gonna have. I mean, they only had fire types, they would only te team like Aqua to this sweet three of them. Not that that would make any sense, but you know. Beat Team Flare. You may have beaten me, but when I lose, I go out in style. Is he gonna explode or something? <laughs> what do you mean you go out in style? What's this? You're a pretty tough Pokemon trainer for a kid. But watch yourself. I'm not the only member of Team Flare. I like you to offer me a position. Like I'm pretty um uh, pretty important if I can beat you. But yep, there's one more, or two more trainers in here, I forgot. Team Flare Grunt. A Gulpin. Very interesting choice. Wait, what type is... Have I been mistaken? Oh, it's poison. I thought it was, uh... I don't know, I thought it was normal. I thought it turned poison when it evolved. Yes, that makes sense. Don't get poisoned. Cool. Electric. Let's go back. No, I didn't mean to use double kick. I did record an episode with Hunter really recently with the Soul Link, so I'm just kind of like feeling so awkward, because like, we're always talking the entire duration of that, and I just, it's hard to do that now when there's not someone else to talk to. Because Hunter can't see what I'm doing, so I try to narrate it, and Hunter can't, I can't see what Hunter's doing, so he tries to narrate it. And I feel weird just narrating every individual thing I did. I mean, that's what I should do, though. Okay. Oh, uh oh. Don't tell me this is a double battle. Okay, it is, but there are two members of Team Flare. Well then, are we ready to team up and battle them? Yeah. Probably should have healed, but who cares? I don't think there's any mandatory double battles. Are there? I don't remember. I don't know if there's any mandatory double battles in this game. I was just thinking, like, what if you only had one Pokemon, and it was a mandatory double battle, and you didn't have it someone to help you? I'll go down and take down, uh, Krogunk. You need, don't need to thank me. That's kind of my goal in life. I'm thinking for them because they suck.
Thank you, Volpez. Thank you for being absolutely useless. It's not gonna help us. Maybe it saved you from dying, I don't know, but that that wouldn't have done more or less anything productive for us. There, his speed fell. What what did it just what did it just use? No, you you deserve for your Pokemon to die. That was just dumb. You were useless. Like, that was just really sad. Now you, you use Moxie as well. Are you proud of yourself? Are you actually proud of yourself? Why didn't you start out with Frogadier? We're gonna gonna swap into um Volpes in case it does go for a fighting move. I don't want it to hit it with Moxie on the big chunk. Yes. I mean, we're, we're also psychic, but, you know. Use Brick Break. See, that might have killed Big Chungus. So, good thing we swapped. It doesn't affect, uh-oh. Okay, that's right, it's dark fighting. Scraggy down. I mean, if you're only to blame if you only carry one Pokemon around. You know? There we go. Let me just pick up an escape route. Alright, I'm probably going to use that instead of traveling through the entirety of this cave again. Did you find him? I mean, like, there was really nowhere else to go. Why, hello! Here to look for fossils as well? Are you okay? Did Team Flare come here? Team Flare? What's that, a Pokemon? Don't worry about it. Uh, looks like he was completely observed <laughs> looking for fossils. You two were lucky. I just found two fossils. But they're both ones I already have, so I'll give you one of each. Jaw fossil or sail fossil? We'll go for the sail fossil. Oh, I saw it shine, then I'm like, wait, what? It's shiny? I was just so confused for a second. I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> Shiny Moras? Amaros? I don't even know how to say it. Well, I don't really want the other one. Not that it's bad or anything. I just picked this because in case I do want to go and hunt it, I already have one that is designated from this game. Because I was thinking about Masuda methoding it once I uh, get Deerling. Yep. That's what I was afraid of. I was like, oh, maybe it's disabled. No, it's not disabled right now. I would be disabled for the Team Flare event, but that is over, so if it was, it's not disabled no more. I'm just gonna escape her. I hope it's a decent walk out of here, so it'll just save us all time and keep us moving on productively. And we have two of them. Alrighty then, since we don't have fly, we have to get on out of here. This is very time consuming as well. I mean, it's just too slow. I wish they made it a little bit faster. Recording for a long time, I might just split the episodes in two. Yeah, 
No, that's not where I want to go. Potas. <sighs> this is so tedious. I, just, I have to say, it's really cool the first time, but having to go back on it is really, really annoying. And I know I can grind for fossils in that cave and all that, and there's other things I can do. But, um, yeah, I'm probably not going back in there, ever. <laughs> it's just such an annoyance to go. You can't fly there. You have to take Rhyhorn. There's no quicker route or anything. So, yeah, there's just no real benefit except for getting fossils, but we're not trying to complete the decks in this game. So, yeah. Now that we have a fossil, we want to go here. Still can't fight the gym. I forgot how long this segment was, so... Do I talk to you? Ooh! I didn't know I would get that. Huh. Well, that's cool. No, he gave, did he give me the Aerodactyl Light or the Aerodactyl Fossil? No, he gave me the Aerodactyl Light. It would have been Amber Fossil. You received... Amora! Would you like to give Amora a nickname? Sure. We'll call you... Ice... Ice... Baby. <laughs> the fact that that fits. And, uh, yeah. It's level 20, actually. That's not bad. Obviously, not a shiny. But, it's still not a horrible Pokemon to have if I want to go and hunt in this game. I probably... I don't know, I probably won't. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. On the bright side, it's a Pokemon. I don't have one less Pokemon I need to catch if I want to trade over. Because when you think about it, I only have um, this Pokemon left. I haven't really. You don't really catch Pokemon. I gotta go back into the early routes and just catch like three or five Pokemon. Just that way I can have them for when I want to trade Pokemon over. Assuming that I do that. I mean, I'm, there are gonna be hunts that are gonna be in this game, but you know. Yep. I'm gonna pick myself up a hard scale. Not super helpful, but it's still like one of those things that you could easily miss. I mean, think about it. Most people don't see a Pokemon Center and immediately assume they can run past it. But yeah. I think I'm stuck where the gym was. <laughs> I think I thought it was in this town, because I, I think I told you guys it was going to be in the next episode, and if there isn't a gym in this town, if you have already noticed. I mean, there's this, that's not a gym though. This is trainer tips, I don't need it. So, uh, yeah, there's a bench here, just give you a nice little view and foreshadowing that there's an item there. Not really foreshadowing, but it gives you the idea of you can go down there and there's an item. But yes, there is no gym here. That was uh, my own fault. But we're going to go and explore a little bit. Now that we're on Route 8. The, the gym is in the next town ahead, I believe, and that's not super far. But yeah, Ambi Town, let's go. 
we got ourselves a pearl, which is actually quite helpful. It is worth quite a little bit of money. But yeah, you go super fast on the sand, which it shouldn't be that way. I mean, seriously, I'm roller skating on sand. She gives me the driving machine. Super helpful when you're on the uh, beach. Just looking for items. But yeah, you really shouldn't go this fast, because I can tell you one thing, if you try to roller skate on sand in real life, that will just not happen. You can't. And now we have Swimmer. That's a new trainer class. I don't think we fought one of those yet. But uh, nothing really too concerning, except for the fact that that has a wing goal, which we can't touch. We don't have anything good for flying or water, so, uh, yeah. Problemo. But, this problemo can be easily taken down if we it can't really hurt me unless he goes for a water move. And in that time, we have quite a large portion of hits to give it. And we just out-code it. Alright. And I guess if you punch a bird, it's not going to do so good. Since it's a bird, with a great physical defense, it's got to be light to fly. Psyduck. Uh, I think we're going to stay in. I really need to get something to match up against uh, a water type, so I should consider that with my next Pokemon. Because right now I have absolutely nothing to do except for hope they don't use a water move on me. Which isn't a good strategy. They're water types, and they most likely have water moves. For a delight. Awesome. So, yeah, the next gym is just up ahead. So, uh, yeah. Once we fight that, I might consider gather gathering a different Pokemon. Cause I don't I think I need a certain a special Pokemon for the next gym. I don't think. So it might be a wiser option to go for more type advantages. Care for a sky battle with the sky trainer? No. Get lost. Maybe I'll fight you later. But I really don't want to fight them. There's Rock Smash, which we don't have. And here we are. This city. It wasn't a long route. This is where you get the bicycle. And over here is a bicycle track. It goes through the entirety of the town, and then it just kills you in the ocean. <laughs> I'm kidding. If, you, if you've never gone on it before, you're not going to really understand. I have, but I haven't gone on it in so long. It's kind of cool. Um, it emphasizes that bicycles are an important part of life here. But, uh, yeah. If you keep going along that, oh dear, if you're here for a bicycle race, I'm afraid you're too late. The race is over, and I took foot first. I feel bad that I missed it, that you missed it. Here, allow me to give you strength, Yim, and consolation. If one of your Pokemon uses the move, I will be able to push large rocks around. And there we have it, we have strength. However, if you want to see the outside of battle, you got a badge from the gym, and I run in this city. Yeah, yep, he's the gym leader. I don't think he told you that, but yeah, the gym is just up ahead, where he is going up this way. I'm right here. It's actually quite hard to s If you don't know that this symbol represents the gym, you won't know. But that item... Let me just grab it. Got an X defense. Not super helpful. But it's fine. We're going to pick up the bicycle before we end off this episode, and that's just about it. Oh, whoa! Oh, oh, oh! Welcome, welcome! Come right this way! Like a millionth customer or something? What timing you have, young man? Did you know that we are 10,000? That you are 10,000 and first customer since this, we opened the shop? Wait, what? How am I your 10,000th and the first? Yes, lucky you. You're number two. Oh, okay. You should have said ten thousand. Okay, I see what he. Okay, the way that was structured, it shouldn't it have been ten thousand and one. I don't know. Not one. I don't know. 
don't know how you would have structured it, but yeah, your lucky number, 10001. If you had been numbered then, I would have given you a bicycle, but for free, but as a runner-up, you can still get a chance to win a bicycle by answering our quiz correctly. Ready? Here we go. Do bicycles come in more than one color? <laughs> this would be a very tough question if you were colorblind, because you wouldn't be able to tell. Of course. Bing, 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 you are correct. I'm sure you'll love having one of our bicycles. Which color would you go for? I'm gonna have to go with green. I don't think you can swap it, so you have to actually make a choice you'd like. I like green, you know. That's grand. You can zoom around Kalos. Yeah, maybe if you... Oh. What did you say? Do you think you can go even faster if I... I'm wearing roller skates while doing this? <laughs> no. Unless you plan on, like, using it as, like, you're running with the bicycle. But yes, we now have bicycle. I'm pretty sure you can swap it. It doesn't make a huge difference. I mean, you really can't even see the color. It's really the only thing you see. I mean... So, if you don't get the one you want, don't be discouraged, but the bicycle is cool and all. It is very similar to the roller skates. I think it's a little bit faster and you don't have to constantly keep refreshing it. But, yeah. It's very, very effective. It's very fast. It allows you to do the 360 wheel motion. And, yeah. Which which really makes me wonder why they didn't make it for the, um, the D-pad. I mean, I guess it makes sense, but you can't run in circles if you use this. Which I just don't get. But yeah. This is the town that we are in. Next episode we'll be fighting the gym. But until then, I want to thank you all for watching and I'll see you all next time. Oh wait, before I go. Let's just do one lap. There's a cave there. Oop, I just slid the 3DS. I'm trying my best to prevent that from happening, but it is way harder than you might think. Room, yay, I'm a winner. <laughs> you can't go up, by the way, so. Yeah, there was actually a cave there, which I didn't remember, so I'm actually gonna check that out. I know I said I was just gonna do one lap, but I don't remember there being a cave up here. The Zubats, oh, okay, okay, this is the other part of Zubats. The, uh, remember that cave I went into by accident in the previous episode? This is the other part of it that you would push it from. So it's a quick way to cut through the entirety of... If you wanted to get to one place to the other and you didn't have fly on you. This is the easiest way to get from one place from that, um... Area to this area. Alrighty then. Cool. Cool. Oh, okay, I see what I have to do to get that item. After I get that item, I actually will end off the episode, guys. Do not worry. I'm not procrastinating any longer. I'm so ch I'm just so disappointed in myself that I managed to do that. Alrighty then, thank you all for watching. See you all next time. Bye.